हेलो गाइस तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नर जनरल्स फ्रॉम लॉर्ड विलियम बेंटी ओके आई विल जूम इन समवर्ट सो लॉर्ड विलियम बेंटी केम इन एटीन ट्वेंटी एट एंड रिमेन देयर फॉर एटीन थर्टी फाइव वन डील सो ही वॉज द पार्ट ऑफ मेजर चेंजेस इन द सोसाइटी लाइक एबोल्यूशन ऑफ सती cruel uh, rights and practices that were there well abolished by him then suppression of thagi at that time uh, you guys must have watched uh, thugs of hindustan so in that whatever have been portrayed at that time thagi was very much uh, active in india so he is also regarded with the suppression of thagi along with some other persons who were involved in the, in this process okay charter act of 1833 came in its tenure only then resolution of 1835 and educational reforms introduction of english as the official language in this time happened and then annexation of mysore kurg and central kasar this will take place because the expansionist policy of the british is already there uh, which will later after In the eighteen fifty seven, we will see, uh, which will culminate into the war of the first independence. Okay, so treaty of perpetual friendship with Maharaja Ranjit Singh of Punjab, and ab abolition of the provincial courts of appeal and circuit by set up by Cornwallis, and now the commissioners of revenue and circuit were there. Means that uh, the court jurisdiction was abolished in. in concern with the revenue okay next is the lord metcalf he is also called as the liberator of indian press because uh, there were many press restriction imposed so he removed all the press restrictions and permitted persons to establish press or open their own press and express themselves then lord auckland first afghan war took place in his tenure uh, because afghanistan was the way to the central asia and britishers feared the spread of communi communism from afghanistan to india because at that time afghanistan was the neighbor of india because pakistan was the part of india okay so the first afghan war happened uh, to just to suppress the communist ideology spread at that time in the Russia and all the Central European regions. Okay, then death of Maharaja Ranjit Singh in eighteen thirty nine, which will gradually lead to the decline of the Punjab Empire, and later on annexation of Punjab. Then Lord Ellenborough, Ellenborough, okay. So annexation of the Sindh province. Sindh province at that time was located in in the present day Pakistan. Okay, and war with the Gwalior. then lord hardinge first 1844 to 1848 first anglo sikh war see that after the death of maharaja ranjit singh in 1839 1845 1846 means the marath the punjab confederacy is now weak so they are fighting and the war was inconclusive so treaty of lahore was signed at that time okay social reforms in, including at this time abolition of the female infanticide and human sacrifice many a times this event is also uh, at that time this was a practice which was more of a religious kind of practice like human sacrifice and all the but the britishers feared that this kind of practice is derogatory to the human society so they abolished it and it will further uh, you know anger some people who are very much like religion religion kind of thing okay so now lord dalhousie in his time also there is a lot of development and after his tenure there is a outbreak of the 1857 revolution 1848 to 1856 is his time second anglo sikh war and an annexation of the punjab right in 1849 then annexation of lower burma and pegu from the kingdoms and become a part of the british india introduction of doctrine of lapse this is the most important concept uh, 
doctrine of lapse that is the immediate reason you can say for the outbreak of 1857 war okay and that is revolution mainly war was with the britishers so revolution first revolution of independence or you can say first organized revolution okay it, it small scale revolutions were there but they were only in the region oriented not as a pan india scale it was like a pan india scale most many of the states will would be involving in the 1857 war okay so annexation of Satara, Jaitpur, Sambalpur, Udaipur, Jhansi, Nagpur, Awadh. Eh, okay, so all these territories. So Jhansi is one of the major territory uh, which will be participating in the war of first independ independence war of 1857 under Maharani Lakshmi Bai. Okay, and uh, then then Woods dispatch would be there in 1854. Okay, so this was a anglo vernacular schools and government colleges uh, would suggested what that up to certain level there should be a vernacular language system and then after english should be there in the higher education so that uh, the people who are learning their vernacular language they will understand the uh, you know situations and society better and then after when uh, it will be imposing that uh, English education so that they can help them in developing the uh, you know they were actually educating Indians so that they can develop a class of slaves for themselves actually that they will be uh, knowing English they will feel that they are closer to the Britishers and they will be working with the Britishers so this kind of thing was there uh, so they were doing all this not for the profit of the Indian or uh, uplift the status of the Indian but to develop a class of Indians who will support them only then railway minute of 1853 laying down of first railway line connecting Bombay and Thane in 1853 1853 is the year uh, where first time railway lines will be laid down and at this time what is happening in England is the industrial revolution so industrial revolution England is a Iceland nation so that required a lot of you know raw materials so raw materials were where in their colonies like colony in America colonies in Africa colonies in India so what were happening that in America already there was American Revolution and then after they lost so many colonies and in Africa also there was uh, many uh, European nations who were fighting already there for the resources so they had India okay so Britishers majorly had India in, in their stronghold at that time so what they were doing they were making the way for more exploitation okay more amount of resources can be transported in the limited time so they were developing railway then telegraph so telegraph was line was uh, Place, then postal services were introduced so that the communication British communication would become effective and when 1857 war happens what happened that they had already knowledge of everything because you are sending telegraph you are uh, writing a post they are reading that so what they were doing they were tracking all those and they were knowing strategy before uh, Indians could realize that this kind of things are happening so they were doing everything for their benefit only if there will be postal and telegraph the information dissemination will be faster like if there is some um, outrage in Bengal and there is forces in Madras so forces in Madras could assist the people in Bengal so that that kind of thing they were creating then Ganges canal declared open and established a separate public work department in every province uh, for the ease of uh, their working and widow remarriage act of 1856 it was also a reason that many people opposed the Britishers and supported the 1857 revolution because of the, uh, the repeal of the widow uh, introduction of the widow remarriage act okay and last is the Lord Canning last governor general and he will become the first viceroy of India because after 1856 
657 57 revolution the uh, power of east india company will be abolished and it will india will come under the british crown directly under the british crown rule okay so establishment of three universities of calcutta madras and bombay and revolt of 1857 started during his tenure only okay so thank you guys uh, hope uh, we have covered most of the topics related to governor generals okay and in the next lecture we will be starting with the viceroy first will be lord canning and then uh, all the important viceroys are there so we will be covering that and what events uh, took place in their tenures all these we will be seeing uh, in the upcoming time like uh, thomas relic commission will be there hunter commission will be there then jallianwala bag kand will be there so all the these things we will be seeing that what happened what were the consequences of their uh, uh, after that uh, 1857 how the britishers policies change okay so okay guys thank you take care take care of your family okay be safe be healthy keep learning okay thank you so much